Hey guys, what's going on? It's Calado coming at you guys with another video. And this video, I'm going to talk about a question that I got from a student, which was what I should be doing uh, to improve, which is a question everybody has. I have it with my teacher and I'm sure everybody else has it as well. And so uh, the way I was thinking about this question before even the person uh, brought it up to me was uh, what someone needs to know for their first chord. So when we have our, gra our graduation system works off of chords. And for the first chord, I had an idea of what I wanted to see. But I think it's even better to have a more specific idea of what you need for the first, let's say, three or four months. And so for the people who have been training with me for a little while, you probably know all of these movements. And if you don't, that's okay. Um, but I'm going to lay them out what they are. There's 12 of them. Four movimentos, which is ginga, hole, au, and negativa. We're going to have four golpes or kicks. Melo de frente, armada, melo de compasso, and queixada. Okay, and last we're gonna have four esquivas or dodges, right? Esquiva baixa, esquiva atrás, or esquiva baixa, esquiva low, esquiva atrás, esquiva back, esquiva lateral, esquiva to the side, and then cocorinha, which is a squat. And that's it. Those are the 12 movements you should be working on. Now when I say that you should know it, I don't really mean that you should have like full mastery of it. I think that's a very, um, mastery is a very difficult concept even to wrap your head around. I think what we really want to focus on is if I say cocorinha, boom, everyone should understand what that means, right? If I say everyone do esquiva lateral, boom, if you've been training for four months or whatever it is, you should be able to do esquiva lateral because you know exactly what it is. And of course you need uh, some understanding of how the positioning is for everything and that's kind of the stuff that you want to work on. The best way that I can think about it is this. If I can hold a conversation with you and you can do the movements, then you know that you know it, right? If you can do your jinga while you're having a conversation with somebody, then you know you really know how to do jinga. Even if it's not the nicest jinga in the world, the most important part is that it's, it's, it's in your head and it's staying there. It's ingrained in your brain and uh, you've done enough repetitions of it, you've done enough, uh, you know, jinga to be able to do it without really thinking about it. And that's a really uh, powerful thing to have as a tool set. The other thing is uh, that the reason I bring up these 12 movements is because that's what you see in 80% of capoeira games. 80% of the movements are going to be the 12 that I mentioned. They're going to be hole, they're going to be mea lua, or some variation of these things. People don't stray too far off, and even though you do see some people playing with like amazing, incredible movements, in between all that, all the connective tissue is, uh, the bones, the structure of everything, are still these 12 movements. So that's why it's so important that everybody have a clear understanding of it. And um, I think that's kind of like uh, the first couple steps that you take forward when you're training capoeira. I don't want people to get lost and think like, oh my God, I have to learn all these crazy movements. I want everybody to focus in especially when they're training at home, particularly at home, even though we do these uh, kicks and everything a lot in the class. At home, you should be thinking, ah, okay, let me do uh, some kicks, let me do some skivas, let me jinga for a little bit, get an idea of how it works, etc. Okay, so for the first three, four months, that's really your goal. That's kind of the thing you want to work on. And if you are unclear about what all these uh, movements look like, don't worry, I'll send something over so that everyone is on the same page and, and that we all have a clear understanding of, you know, what the expectations are or what these next steps are so that we can all improve, we can all get better and we can all feel like, you know, we're kicking butt uh, together. Okay, so that's all I really had. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be sending over some stuff so we can all do this. And that's it. I hope everyone's having a great time, having a great week and I'll talk to you all soon.